guys and welcome back to my channel first of all i would like to take a moment and thank you all uh, for supporting me and believing on me till now we finally hit 20k guys 20k it's a very big thing for me i'm definitely gonna make a separate video where i'll be sharing you guys my youtube journey till now so yeah, stay tuned for that. Talking about this video, today I'll be uh, showing you guys four DIYs where you don't need a sewing machine. Everything that I'll be making is uh, by myself, by my hand. It's a hand sew. Actually, I'm not a professional here, but if I can do it, you can also definitely do it, guys. I know we don't own that much of uh, materials and tools uh, that are needed, but honestly, this video is all about using the things that are already available at your home. So yeah, without doing further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. So guys, I was still having a doubt if I should crop this top or not, but I've decided that I will crop this top. So you guys might be thinking, why is she cropping all the shirt? I mean, I love crop t-shirt very much. And so that's why uh, I'm gonna crop this one too and that will be my decision cropping it so what I do is I wear the t-shirt I tuck it inside uh, it becomes much more easier uh, to measure uh, or you can also use the measuring tape uh, another option is that you can also uh, take your favorite crop top and measure it like so and cut it actually wore this upside down so the hem part uh, goes in the up and the cropped that i cut part goes on the down this remaining part i'm gonna turn this remaining part into a strap for this one i fold it in half and took the measurement using the same crop top that i had After hemming what you do is mark the point where you wanna put the strap. Take the remaining piece and cut 4 pieces each measuring 1 inch. I fold it and I'm gonna cut here now take the front part and then fold it front. I'm gonna cut 
cut the back part now. This is the remaining sleeve uh, from where I'm taking one and a half inch wide long strap uh, so that I can bind it on the neckline. but I don't think like this looks that flattering to me so I'm gonna remove this and then hem it it looks kind of um, I don't know what to say it doesn't look that nice I know I had to redo it again but uh, it's okay because sewing is all about trial and errors and also learning from our mistakes you know sometimes things doesn't turn out as we have thought but that shouldn't stop us from doing what we want and yeah that is what I did I really didn't like how it turned out so I'm gonna turn this top into something like this um. so I already marked the line where I wanted to uh, be the neckline so yeah I cut it off so instead of sewing I use fabric glue to seal the edges um, and it really saves a lot of time and effort. So this is how it looks. Glue has already dried and so I also thought like I'll be adding a ruffle detail in the sleeve, I mean in the this part. So in my previous DIY you guys asked me how how I did the ruffle. If you wanna know how I did it, then uh, do watch this part carefully. I'm also not a professional, but I just do what I think is right, and yeah, it just turns out nice. So what I basically do is I just uh, grab the small uh, section, scrunch it like this. What you do is you just grab one section and sew it in the middle. Grab another section, just face it other side. And there you get ruffle. So you keep on sewing, just. So next up is scrunchy. Uh, this is a requested one so that's why I'm making this. This is the right side and this is the wrong side so yeah fold like fold on the wrong side and start sewing, hemming. pin and then insert it
so the next one is this blue tank top uh, which is actually a sleepwear um, it is very old that's why it has uh, become very loose and I'm marking the point where I want to crop it so I want to make something like this out of this tank top So from the remaining piece cut out 2 inch wide strap and secure it with fabric glue and let it dry. I wanted this uh, top to look a little fitted so that's why I hemmed the both sides. So here you will be needing an extra fabric where you need to attach on the sides. Uh, there need to be two casings uh, so you have to stitch three stitches on the middle and on the side edges. are the DIY videos for today uh, I really enjoyed challenging myself uh, to do all this without a sewing machine I hope this video helps you to create uh, something that you want and uh, if you try out any of these DIYs then don't forget to tag me on my Instagram uh, so that I can see your work your creation um, I know you can do it guys you can do it and if you want to see more of me then uh, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and TikTok um, and yeah that is for today's video i hope that you enjoyed this video uh, make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't so i'll see you guys in my next video till then stay safe stay happy bye bye